What's up guys, it's Elle and welcome to our planet and today I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm just trying to find out the truth here. It's been trending online. I'm still very confused. I don't know what to believe because I've done the research, I've looked around and I couldn't find any proof that they will be doing this. So today, I'm calling shit. But I have to lay down everything before we do that. So first of all, I think yesterday or maybe two days ago, I saw this meme posted on. I not and I don't think it's a meme. It's an editorial illustration, as it says here, by Javi Garcia. The picture over here shows that Ched, which is Commission on Higher Education here in the Philippines, they take care of college, universities, college and universities. Okay, here in the Philippines, they're responsible for college and universities. Meanwhile, you guys have to know the difference between this. DepEd handles high school and elementary. I think that's very important because many people are getting this mixed up. And this is gonna lead to our conclusion later on. So first of all, the picture that Javi Garcia posted is a picture of Ched, which is connected to the Philippine government. Cutting off a tongue of a Filipino over here, with Wikang Filipino at the end of the tongue being cut out, and the Korean language being injected to the tongue of the Filipino. I'm not sure if people actually read the description because the description will tell you whether this is true or not. So the description says, forgive me for my mispronunciations because English is my lingua franca, but I'm very positive with how I speak Filipino. I think it's okay. Ihingan ko po kayo ng opinion, negatibo o positibo. Here's how it's translated in English. I'm gonna ask for your opinion, negative or positive. So he's just asking if it's negative or positive, and I think based on the reception, it's a negative reception. Patungkol sa pagtanggal ng Filipino curriculum. About removing the Filipino curriculum sa college at pagpalit ng curriculum sa Korean language. So basically, he's asking our opinion on removing the Filipino curriculum at college and switching that. The word pagpapalit means switching, as in replacing the Filipino curriculum with Korean language. Which first of all doesn't make sense. Filipino curriculum is the curriculum of the Philippines and not a class or a subject, okay? Because people are cheating like he's talking about the subject, which is, in fact it's a bigger scope. So he asks, Sang ayon ba kayo sa pagbabago nito? First of all, I don't agree with switching the Filipino language with Korean language. If we're talking about swi switching, because that's what he said, pagpapalit. I don't agree with switching because Filipino is one of our national languages. No, is our national language. Is one of our official languages and it has been with us for so long already and it speaks about our identity. Now, here, he has the words in parentheses. Survey lang po ito para sa asignatura namin sa Filipino. Tata, tata lakayin kasi po namin. To God be the glory. Now, the word here is tata lakayin. Tata lakayin means something like they're gonna have an exchange of opinions or they're gonna discuss it in class. First things first, nothing here says that it's real. Nothing that Javi Garcia said means that it came from the news. So far, if you read that, you'll know that it's not true. Or it's just a topic in class that they're gonna discuss. Now, I messaged Javi Garcia, asking whether it's true. I said, Hello po, pwede po bang malaman kung saan yung ho nakuha yung news regarding Korean language replacing Filipino by Ched? Highlight, Ched. Because I searched online, I looked everywhere, wala pa rin akong nakita. So is this true? Because I did find out that DepEd did propose or did make an agreement with the Korean embassy that they will be putting Korean language classes, optional Korean language classes at various schools. And if you guys don't like the word optional, they use the word elective. Elective meaning you can choose to study it or choose not to study it. You get to pay for it if you want to. You don't have to do it. But Javi didn't reply and I don't, I'm not mad at him because his Facebook might be blowing up right now because of that editorial that he posted. I just wish that he clarified a little more that it's not real. Like it's just something for class. 
Like if your teacher says, okay, let's do something for Helen. For Helen, until now, we had Helen back when I was in school. Uh, we're gonna do something for Helen. You're gonna be the mom, you're gonna be the dad. Okay, here's your baby. Or you're gonna make up a restaurant. It's basically like that. It's just something that is to be done in class. But it turns out with all of these negative responses that it doesn't seem to be the case to them. They believe it. They think that this is true. They think that Chet is gonna cut out the Filipino language and replace it with Korean. And there's so much memes about patriotism, nationalism coming out. To some extent, it's already racist. And I know that some of you guys have had bad experiences with Koreans. Some of you guys have been mistreated by Koreans. Maybe, maybe. I personally haven't experienced any of that, but it doesn't give you the right to pull them down as a culture, pull them down as a nation. Because I know for a fact that if ever that same thing happens to us, we wouldn't respond the same way because the Koreans aren't responding at all. So I just want to clarify everything. A bunch of memes have popped out, a bunch of posts popping out. It seems to me that no one did the research. No one dared to check if this is true. And no one even thought of calling Chen, aside from me. I don't know. Maybe the news people did because this is a big topic. I mean, come on. Javi Garcia got 91,703 shares. It's a big number. Okay, so we're gonna call Chet. I'm at home, and this is their number on their website. Chad, Commission on Higher Education. Let's go. So, four. Are they at work? It's already 406. Chad, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, po. I just want to inquire regarding uh, isang picture po na nag trending online sa pagtanggal ng wikang Filipino at pagpalit ng Korean language. Ito ang buba to. Ah, so hindi po to Chad. Ah, Chad? Apa? Ano po concern nyo? Yung isang language na ano? May isang picture po na nagtitrending po ngayon online. Teacher? Ah, picture po, picture. Ah, oh, teacher. Apa? May picture po na nagtitrending online. Teacher. Ang, teacher. ang sabi po dito, di, po, di ko po alam kung teacher po ito, pero ang sabi po dito, ipa, ipapalit daw po nila ang lingwaheng fil ah wikang Filipino sa Korean language class. Totoo po ba ito? Because, kasi ang dami na pong picture na nagde-trend nito online. Marami, marami na pong meme. Pero wala naman po akong nakikitang article tungkol dito or news related okay, article. Po, po. Sige po, okay lang po. Hello po. Uh, I'm just really curious po kasi may isang picture na nagte-trending online po ngayon na nagsasabi na uh, ipagpapalit na raw ng wikang Filipino sa Korean language as because of Chad. And I'm not sure kung totoo po ba to kasi uh, I learn I searched online and wala namang article or wala namang news na inilabas ng ABS-CBN or GMA or at CNN na Totoo, totoo talaga ito. So, I'm just wondering if it's true that you will be exchanging the language. Okay, okay sir. Uh, ganito na lang po, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, regarding... Uh, sir, just wait for a while lang. Sir, hahanap okay, ko kami ng telephone number na pwede nyo kapag tawagan. Sige po. Okay, wait lang po. Hello? Hello, Hello po. Sir. Hello po. Ah, sir, eh, dahil yung po itong big telephone number ay bibigay po sa inyo, ha? Sige po. Ah, uh, 441. Eh po, yung doon po kayo pag-iikwa, kung ano pong masasabot po nila ito sa pagkailangan nyo. Sige po. Thank you po. Ah, sino po, sino po ito yung tatawagin ko po? Sir, eh, po number po na ito. Apo, apo. Okay, sige po. Dito Salamat po. Doon niyo po itulog yung problema niya, yung change language kanya. Apo, apo. Salamat sige. po. Sige, God bless po. God, God bless rin po. Uh, 
thank you. Okay, so we called Chen and they told us to call this next number. Hopefully they do answer because if they do answer, then that means it's true that they will not change it or it might be the other case where they will change it. We really never know because we are looking and we are searching. So here we go. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Four, four. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, hello, po, good afternoon. Uh, I'm a YouTuber po, and I'm making a video regarding yung pagpalit ng wikang Filipino sa Korean language. Tutu, uh, is it possible to know if this is true? Because um, it's a. Wait lang po, sige po. Uh, Apa. Sige po. Uh, kaka graduate lang po, University of Asia and the Pacific. Pero YouTuber po ako ngayon. YouTuber ka? Apa, apa. UAN. Hello po. Uh, I'm just wondering, kasi may isang meme po ngayon na nagtutrend, pero di, di naman po ako naniniwala. Yes. Pero marami pong naniniwala dito. Okay, and, so, for, uh, apa, apa. we're gonna issue a press statement. Actually, mm -hmm. na-upload ko na siya. Ah, okay, um, okay. Nandun sa followphched.gov sa Facebook. Ano siya? Okay. Uh, Verified account naman siya, so may check siya. Okay. So, um, help us to share the official and current news about it. Apa. Wala. Okay. I'm gonna... Actually, edit the topic. Pindutin ko na yung send. I publish. Ayun. Pashare na lang. Sige po, sige po. Okay. Pero ang um, but the truth is hindi po talaga ipapagpapalit ng Korean language Filipino. Um the, the the article was last year. Mm -hmm. It was actually DepEd. Yes, DepEd is what they saw. May ganung initiative Opo. and I believe um selected schools lang 'yon. Mm -hmm. And um part um I mean, I I I have wala akong position to explain it kasi chat na po. Uh -huh. um, kung gusto nyo po malaman yung full details about it, better contact po than it. Okay, okay. Thank uh, you. Pero uh, supposedly yung kay, kay DepEd po is uh, elective lang siya, di ba? Yeah, Not officially yeah, yeah. part of the Philippine curriculum. And you have to um, verify it with it. Ah, okay. 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 Thank okay. you po. Maraming okay. salamat po. God bless po. Please do share our post. We will, we will. Thank you. Thank you, Pop. Chad themselves said that it's not true. Now, let's move on to DepEd because I, that's what I found out while I was researching. That Chad said nothing about switching the Korean language class, uh, with the Filipino language class, with the, with the Korean language class. But I did see that DepEd does have the initiative online. Uh, uh, I saw articles online with DepEd saying that they've already signed with um, the Korean embassy here in Manila that they will be having optional Korean language classes for those who do want to study Korean. And that makes sense for me because I don't agree with switching the language with Korean. And even if you switch it with another language, I don't agree even if it's English because Filipino is still a language that represents the Philippines. Now, I don't see why people are not reading into the meme. But anyway, let's go to DepEd just to clarify whether they will switch it or not. No, actually the question is not will they switch it anymore, but is it that they have already added the Korean language to the curriculum. And if it's officially there as a subject, which I don't think so, because it doesn't say that, or it's just an elective. So let's move on to DepEd. All right, we got the number of DepEd here in Google. Hi, hey, mom. <laughs> Happy birthday nga pala kay. No, I'm just kidding. 63. Hello, good afternoon po. mag inquire lang po ako. Ah, actually, I'm Luis Miguel, isang YouTuber po. mag inquire lang po for, tungkol sa Korean language class. Yun lang po. Sige po, marang salamat po. Alright, so we just talked to DepEd, and according to them, well, I mean, if you look at the news itself here, it says that the Korean language should be a part of the high school curriculum. All of them are saying it in future tense. Uh, Korean language to be taught in public high schools, 
these are all future tense, meaning it's gonna happen in the future, it might happen in the future, and at the same time, knowing the Philippines might not even happen. Because a lot of stuff here just claimed on the news, sadly, and it never really happens. Back to where I was over there. Okay, we're back. So I called Chad, and they referred me to DepEd. I called Chad, they said, no, it's not true, we will not be replacing the Korean language with the Filipino language in the Filipino curriculum. Those are three different things, three different ideas that I hope everyone understands. They denied it, he's gonna release a press statement. By the time I'm editing this, maybe it's released. So earlier this evening, I did call Ched, and the guy I spoke with, I believe he's the one who wrote this post over here on the PH Ched Facebook page, since he did say that, released their official statement regarding the removal of Filipino from the new general education curriculum. They have talked about a lot of things regarding the current issue right now of the removal of Filipino from the curriculum, but they didn't highlight anything regarding how Korean was in the editorial illustration that I asked a while ago and I hope that you guys do take the initiative to go on the page and actually read it for yourselves and understand that the government is trying their best to give us the best education for our future. However, the video that I'm making right now does not focus on the removal of Filipino alone but rather the editorial illustration shown that became viral on Facebook. According to one of the comments it's actually the top comment here. The person has also noticed that Korean was never mentioned in the official release and thankfully enough, we were able to get their response to this through this video, even if it wasn't part of their official release on Facebook. However, he did confirm what I found out while doing my research, that DepEd did have plans to include Korean language in the curriculum. They did sign with the Korean embassy, pictures prove that, but up until now, there are no Korean language classes taught in public or private school. No, pri private school maybe, maybe. Korean language classes here in the Philippines. I honestly am surprised because these articles were released 2017, June 2017 from Manila Bulletin, ABS-CBN June 2017, everything is 2017, meaning this is old but real news. But knowing the Philippines and how slow things are to getting into completion or implementation, for some reason it's not yet out. And let me give you my stand first of all, knowing all of this. First, I said a while ago I do not agree with Chet switching the Korean language with the Filipino language, if ever they do so. But obviously they said they don't, they won't, they won't, which is a good thing. Second, I am okay, I'm not fully on the ride with Chet, if ever in the future they do agree to do this, Chet or DepEd, to add a Korean language class for universities, for high schools, for elementaries, as long as it's not forced on the student. It's an elective, meaning the student or the parents opt in or opt out to take the class. However, I'm not sure if it's the right time for a Korean subject to be taught yet because personally, if you, it's supposedly for business purposes. By the way, if you guys are into business, you'll know that Mandarin is the way to go nowadays, right? Mandarin or English, or maybe even Bahasa, Indonesia, Malaysia, because they are really booming. I don't see Korean yet as a language of business. Maybe because there are a lot of Korean businesses opening in the Philippines, but if you look at the bigger perspective, there are more opportunities for Filipinos to create businesses with Chinese, with Americans, with the Japanese. The Koreans could be there too, but they're not immediate. Korean language is okay as long as it's an elective, but if you're gonna force them, like in a school, like I know in Poveda, they have a Spanish class that's required. In pirate schools, I believe they're required to learn Latin. In UANP, we are given the option if we decide to take fifth year, or uh, whether to take French, Chinese, even Korean, even Korean, Japanese, and Latin. I'm not sure what the other languages are, but we do have those. And there's nothing wrong with that because again, it's optional. It depends on the student whether they want to opt in or opt out. So okay, okay na tayo dun. But let's move on to the third 
point. I thought you guys have always made fun of Mocha Usan for spreading fake news. And I don't get why it's so easy for you guys. Oh, sorry if it feels like I'm condemning you guys so much. That it's so easy for you guys to just click without thinking. Like, I honestly have been there. I have mis made my mistakes in the past about not thinking before clicking. And honestly, it's not a good thing. And I can't believe that in this day and age, many people still share their thoughts without doing certain researches. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to go to the extent as I did as to call Chad and Depp Ed. But then a little search on whether the news is there or not isn't gonna do anything bad to you. It's gonna benefit you as a person because you know that you're not bobo. I'm not saying that you guys are not educated. For sure that you guys commenting have studied really, really well because you have very, very strong opinions. But before giving strong opinions, I hope that you do have the data to back it up. And you don't have to show the data, but make sure that the news is true. There are so much articles out there talking about whether this is fake news or not, or how to distinguish the difference of fake news and real news. Google is there. It's free for everyone. So I encourage everyone to first think before you click. Always, always, always cite your sources, in your mind at least. Whenever I post something on Facebook, I always put a source if it's not something that really came from my mind. Second, don't be afraid to verify whether what you think is right or wrong. Many Filipinos, many of us, are really shy asking certain things. And I don't get that because asking will get you answers. And these answers, they may be true, they may be not. It depends on you on how you get to verify it. That's research. Make sure that you know where you're getting your sources. Get to know the sides of people involved. We have this term called data triangulation and I think that you guys could use that as well. Last, know that research isn't scary. And research doesn't necessarily mean go for an RRL, do this, do that, go to places. It doesn't necessarily mean that. You could do research at your home. Mini research actually. It's not even supposed to be called a research. It's just surfing the net and finding out the truth. Because again, fake news is very rampant in this day and age. It wouldn't hurt to try to know the truth. Everyone should Stay woke, as corny as it may seem. Anyway, and I hope that you guys have learned something. I wish I've done this a little bit better. Hope you guys like this video. Once again, remember that Else Planet is your planet as well. So spread the love, God bless, and I hope you guys stay woke. Bye bye.